And we're learning more tonight about that tiger attack that left one dead and two others seriously hurt. Happened last evening at the San Francisco Zoo. And as Fox's Laura Engel reports, investigators were back out there today trying to figure out how the animal got out. Sources in the San Francisco Police Department tell Fox News they think they may know what might have provoked this Siberian tiger to go on the attack. They say that Tatiana may have been taunted by the three victims as the zoo was beginning to close. Investigators at the San Francisco Zoo are trying to figure out how a Siberian tiger escaped its enclosure last night and attacked three visitors. The animal killed one man and badly bit and clawed the other two. At this time, uh, I would even upgrade them from, from serious to just plain stable. Police officers found Tatiana sitting in front of a zoo cafe right next to a man she had just attacked. As the tiger approached them, they had no option but to open fire. Because we're not certain whether this incident occurred as a result of human action or whether this was an incident where the animal was able to get out of the grotto, we have deemed the site as of last night a crime scene. Exactly how the beast escaped remains a mystery. The animal was surrounded by a 20 foot wide moat and 18 foot high walls. Authorities are sweeping the grounds to look for clues they may have missed in the dark last night. In any type of a situation, there's no better lighting than daylight. Right. And, and the idea was to come back just to quadruple check or quadruple check to make sure that there's nobody out there. but but. You know, we want to make sure that's the goal. And as police continue to try to piece together exactly what happened here yesterday, we have learned that the two injured victims are brothers and the third man who was killed was a friend of theirs. All three reportedly from the San Jose area in San Francisco, Laura Engel, Fox 13 News. You may remember Tampa's Lowry Park Zoo had to deal with a tiger escape last year. A Sumatran tiger got out of his cage. Zookeeper shot and killed that tiger before anybody got hurt. The park blamed an inexperienced zookeeper for the escape and later changed their security measures, requiring employees to work in pairs to double check those cage locks. Praising vets and calling for a larger military. That's how Rudy Giuliani is trying to reclaim Florida. Fox 13's Craig Patrick explains why the Republican presidential hopeful spent this day after Christmas in Largo. Rudy Giuliani had Florida in the bag. He didn't spend as much time in Iowa or New Hampshire. He figured he'd win big in Florida and take off from there. This is the primary that takes place before, you know, the big primaries on February 5th. Big ones meaning all of them. But Giuliani is having a problem with the conservative base. Polls show three out of four Republicans think he's moderate or liberal. Social conservatives began to notice Mike Huckabee after the GOP debate in Orlando. Then he shined again in St. Petersburg while Giuliani and Mitt Romney tore each other apart. And look what happened. Rasmussen's daily national tracking poll now puts Huckabee in the lead with a mere 19%, and Giuliani and McCain and Romney right on his tail. The Republican presidential race is basically a five-way knot. I can't think of a person who's won a contested uh, nomination that's won every primary. Giuliani does not expect to win Iowa next week or New Hampshire the week after. That's why he's scrambling through Florida. By the time we get to Florida on January 29, it's going to be early enough for Florida to make its own statement and make a very strong decision that will have an impact going forward. He met with veterans at the American Legion Post in Largo. He knows Florida will vote right after the president's State of the Union address, and he might get a bounce assuming that speech focuses on security. Liberty doesn't come without a price. Freedom doesn't come without a price. Even our security doesn't come without a price. Giuliani is the first presidential hopeful to campaign in Florida since Christmas, but he's about to get a lot of company. In Largo, Craig Patrick, Fox 13 News. Giuliani told the vets in Largo he wants to expand all branches of the military. He says our problems in Iraq tell him we need more volunteer soldiers. President Bush has signed a bill dedicating $70 billion to the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. It also bankrolls 14 cabinet departments and federal agencies through next September. Without that bill, the government could have been forced to shut down after the new year. President Bush signed the bill at Camp David and then took off for Texas to spend the rest of the holidays at his ranch. A gruesome find near Seattle. Six bodies found in a rural property in the town of Carnation. Investigators say the victims include males and females. They're not sure if the killer or killers were among the dead. Carnation is about 21 miles east of Seattle. 
A business owner in Fort Lauderdale got a Christmas present he could have done without. It was all caught on surveillance video, too. That's a minivan right there slamming into his convenience store. Police say the driver was actually driving the wrong side of the road just before, and then he swerved to avoid an oncoming car, and that's when he went through the store. Drove away after the crash and still hasn't been caught. And nobody was inside the store. That's a good part, at least, when he came through. And another crash, this one involving a car, but this time the driver slammed into the house of one of the Army's top brass. This happened in Fort Worth, Texas. Police say a 37-year-old man crashed his car into the house of Army Secretary Pete Guerin. Guerin wasn't home at the time. The driver walked away, but then took his own life after the crash. And police aren't sure if he crashed his car deliberately. Bodies is back in the Bay Area. The Bodies Revealed exhibit will be coming to Sarasota's Gee Whiz Museum. It's because of a scheduling snafu. The exhibit was supposed to go to Kansas City, but that museum wasn't ready. Directors at the Gee Whiz Museum didn't think twice about taking the exhibit. They were looking for a wonderful venue with the right square footage and sort of the right mission, and here we were. So it was really quite lucky. Bodies will be at Gee Whiz for the next eight weeks. The museum hopes to draw some 50,000 people to its facility. There doesn't seem to be a lot of interest in changing Florida's state song. The online contest to change the song is about half over, but only 5,000 people have participated. And that is a far less than what they'd hoped. Some of the lawmakers want to replace the current state song, Old Folks at Home, because of its racist undertones. The song's also known as Swanee River. Others think we should just leave it the way it is. And I'm not surprised that they've only had 5,000 uh, votes because a lot of people do want to vote for none of the above or to keep Swanee River or to keep the modern words of Swanee River. Now the contest runs another two weeks. You can tell us what you think by taking our online poll. It's on the homepage at myfoxtampabay.com. And you can also listen to the three finalists for the new song and vote on your favorite as well. So you might want to take a listen. Well, a real-life nightmare for a 12-year-old girl ahead how she survived a plane crash that killed three others. And get ready to spend a little bit more to mail your next package. A delivery service hiking its rates. We'll tell you by how much. Come with me if you want to live. Premieres January 13th at 8 on Fox 13. It's the final days of the Chevy Red Tag event, where the price on the tag is the price you'll pay. And while supplies last, get 0% financing on almost every 07 Chevy car, pickup, and SUV. That's 0% financing for 60 months for qualified buyers on almost every 2007 Chevy. See some red and save some green. Click on Chevy.com, then see your Southern Chevy dealer. Right now, through New Year's Day, you can get beautiful rooms to go furniture and not make a single payment for two years. That's right. Buy anything from our huge selection and enjoy it at home for two full years before you pay. It's that easy. Buy whatever you want. There's no money down, no minimum purchase, no interest, and no payments until January 2010. Rooms to Go pays your interest until then, but you only have until New Year's Day to take advantage. So hurry to Rooms to Go, like right now. A 12-year-old American girl is the only survivor of a plane crash in a remote mountain area of Panama. Francesca Lewis is her name. She was taken to a hospital in Panama today. It took hours to get her out of there, though. A California businessman, his 13-year-old daughter, and the pilot, they all died. They were all vacationing on a private island when the plane went down on Sunday. Officials say bad weather delayed all the rescue efforts. The girl's being treated for broken bones, dehydration, and hypothermia. Desperation today in Indonesia after a landslide destroyed homes and sent people running for safety. Rescuers dug through mountains of mud searching for survivors. In one town, 61 people died when they were hit by a landslide while having dinner together. This comes on the third anniversary of the tsunami which slammed that region, killing nearly a quarter million people. And at least 16 people are dead and 50 missing after a bridge collapsed in western Nepal. About 500 people were on that bridge when it happened. They were on their way to a village fair. Officials say the bridge wasn't designed to hold that much weight. Most of those killed were women and children. 
The biggest casino buyout ever is a step close to being a done deal. Harris Entertainment says it now has approval from the National Indian Gaming Commission for a nearly $18 billion purchase by Apollo Management and Texas Pacific Group. It's pending final commission review, but the conditional approval is the last regulatory hurdle because some of Harris casinos are on Indian lands. They expect to close the deal in early 08. And if you use FedEx, you might want to check those rates before you ship your next package because the company says it plans to raise its freight fees by 5.5% next month. This follows recent increases at the shippers FedEx Express and FedEx Ground divisions. The Memphis-based company says demand for freight shipping is, quote, severely restrained by a weak national economy. Well, it is that time of the year the flu starts to go around, but... Is there anything you can really do to prevent it? Just ahead, we are putting some remedies to the test, from vitamin C to other supplements. See what really works. And $15,000 given away for free. See who is on the receiving end of an annual Christmas tradition. From the early days to the Earnhardts, watch Fox 13 as we count down Daytona's 50 greatest moments and celebrate the 50th anniversary of the Daytona 500. Now at the Time to Rally event, get 0% APR on the 08 Galant from Mitsubishi, the fastest growing import brand in America. Get to your Jeep dealer and get a great deal during the final days of the event of a lifetime. Get 0% financing on all 08 Jeep vehicles like Grand Cherokee. Plus, make no payments till summer on all Jeep vehicles, including the new all Jeep Liberty. And the fuel efficient 28 miles per gallon Jeep Patriot. Plus, you'll be covered by the best warranty in the business, the Jeep Lifetime Powertrain Warranty. Blaze a trail to your Jeep dealer today, because the event of a lifetime ends in seven days. Happy Honda days are here again, which means your Honda dealer is offering great deals on every car in stock. This holiday season is the perfect time to get into a new Accord, popular Civic, fun-loving Fit, or any Honda you desire. Just choose your favorite color and think Honda for the holidays. Lisa Honda Accord for $259 a month for well-qualified customers. If you've been waiting for the lowest prices of the year, then now's the time to save. At American Signature Furniture, save up to one half or more on great home furnishings. Now, pay just $2.99 for this incredible microfiber sofa and save one half. Save over half on this beautiful all-wood queen sleigh bed, just $177. Protect your jewelry in this lovely two-piece chest for just $78 and pick up one of these lovely garden seats for just $39. Save one half or more now during the lowest prices of the year sale at American Signature Furniture. It's the final days of the Chevy Red Tag event where the price on the tag is the price you'll pay. And for a limited time, get $1,000 bonus cash on top of most other offers on an 08 Silverado half Ton crew cab. See some red and save some green. Use it to lease this 2008 Silverado Half Ton Crew Cab for around $2.99 a month. Residency restrictions apply. Call for details. Hurry. The Chevy Red Tag event ends January 2nd. Click on Chevy.com. Then see your Southern Chevy dealer. This segment is sponsored by GMC Truck. We are professional grade. There's a new kid on the block when it comes to religion. It's called the Mega Church. Tonight at 10, we'll take a look at this growing trend in churches. Ornate statues and old world charm being replaced with stadium seating and flat screen TVs. The upside and downside of these giant churches. Tonight on the Fox 13 10 o'clock news. You know, you don't want to be sick this winter, but is it really possible to prevent the cold or flu? Fox's Dr. Spana Parikh finds out. <coughs> There's nothing like a bad cold or the flu to ruin your holiday plans. And we just sort of grin and bear it, really. So, because we all get sick every year. Just hear those sleigh bells jingle, <laughs> ring, ting, 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 ting. There are lots of things you've probably tried to stay healthy. Just stay out of the, the cold weather all the time, stay bundled up. Keeping warm is, is good. New people in New York like to take the herbal stuff, right? They do all that herbal 
junk. But do they work or are they just old wives' tales? We asked Dr. Jonathan Jacobs, an infectious sure. disease expert at the New York Presbyterian Weill Cornell Medical Center, to separate fact from fiction. There's a lot of popular lore about various supplements. If you feel that tickle coming on, take vitamin C. While vitamin C may boost your immune system, it may not be the magic solution you think it is. Vitamin C has been very well studied, and it doesn't seem to prevent you from uh, getting sick or making your illness less severe. And as with any supplement or medication, taking too much can actually have adverse effects. And what about other supplements or vitamin products like echinacea or the powder packets you add to water? I don't take any of it. I don't think anything's been proven for it, so we don't use any of that stuff at all. In terms of uh, scientific study, there's no evidence that any particular supplement is going to keep you healthy. Maybe coming from um, hot weather to cold weather could, you could get a scratchy throat. There's no evidence that what you do in terms of your environment makes a difference. So, what does work? I just sort of wait for it to happen and then I'm sick and then I complain about it and then I get better. I have a cold, so I'm not really one to be asking. Stay away from people that are, <laughs> that are sick. Get a flu shot. To prevent influenza, the most important thing is to get a flu shot. It's not too late since flu season hasn't peaked yet. And the other key to prevention... Washing hands. If you keep your hands clean, you can certainly prevent yourself from getting many colds and even some flu. And if you do get a cold or the flu bug bites you, keep your germs to yourself. If you're sick yourself, not go into work and infect others. Dr. Sapna Parikh, Fox News. Stay home if you feel bad, you know? Do everybody a favor. Now, I don't know about catching a cold, but you'll certainly be pretty cold after you do this. This is um, sub-zero temperatures, everybody. But in Russia, these folks say it's a way of life. They call themselves the walruses. They do it every winter. They say it's good for the body and soul. Yeah, whatever they say. It's a but whole I'm telling you. different mindset. Now look, little walrus coming up. They're training Morning them young early. over there. We wouldn't even think about, uh, even with the weather we have now, a lot of Floridians wouldn't even think about I was going to say the local water. people are like, we're not going to the not beach. Not going in there, Andy. Yeah, I think uh, something along, I, I, I don't go in the water unless it's 80 degrees or something. Water temperature out there in the Gulf is around 67 now here across the, the Bay Area. We've got some uh, cold weather going on across the Northeast. So I want to show you a quick view of Sky Tower Viper up there. There's a lot of rain in the New York City metropolitan area. It's in the 30s and low 40s. It changes over to snow around Hartford, Connecticut and into the uh, lower Hudson River Valley. So a lot of uh, messy weather there in the northeastern part of the country. In the southeast, there's a big area of rain that uh, looks like it is heading towards us. And it is, but it, uh, from the signs that I can see, the as far as the upper level winds, it's going to dampen out a little bit and it's not going to cause any rain here. It looks like it'll be moving to the east and then eventually lifting off more to the northeast. Uh, so it won't be bringing us any rain here. So it looks like we're in a dry period. A little cold front moved uh, down the front, down the state uh, earlier today, and it's down to around Venice over to Melbourne. And so tonight we're going to see temperatures a few degrees lower than what they were last night. I'm going for low of 56 in Tampa, 52 in Brandon, 55 in Lakeland. But our northern counties could be kind of chilly, 44 in Brooksville, 46 in Inverness and around 48 degrees for the low tonight in Leesburg. Now you can see the uh, full extent of this uh, area of rain, which is curling around into another area of snow over Oklahoma. 67 degrees right now in Tampa. Humidity is 68%. Our winds are west at three. Satellite pictures across the state show a mixture of a few high clouds here and there, but for the most part, it's just going to be clear to partly cloudy overnight. 69 now in Sarasota. Brandon's reporting 66, 65 at Newport Ritchie and Gainesville has already cooled down to 49 degrees, so the cold air is just just around the northern edge of the peninsula right now. Temperatures uh, further north, 39 in Dayton and Washington, 40 in Raleigh. The big picture shows that first front that uh, came down over the state is over the south central part of the state. The next front uh, getting a little bit closer, uh, moving into the uh, southern Mississippi uh, River Delta, but it's not going to be making here. This other front well back over the western states is going to combine this front you see way up over Canada. Those two will sink to the south and a large area of cold air will develop around the the weekend over the nation's midsection and move our way for New Year's Eve. And then by Wednesday morning, we could see temperatures near freezing across the viewing area. You can see how this plays out now. This first front kind of just fizzles out as it comes towards the west. You can see the area of rain really shrinks quite a lot. The next system becomes the stronger, more dominant one. Here's a look at the forecast for the viewing area for tonight. Partly cloudy sky, seasonally cool weather with a low of 56 in the Bay Area. But as I pointed out, it could be in the 40s to the north of the immediate
Tampa area. It's going to be a warm day on Friday and Saturday, up to 81 degrees, 30 percent chance of some showers on Sunday. Monday, of course, is New Year's Eve day. We might get a little bit of rain on New Year's Eve, which could be a little bit of a problem. Then Wednesday down to 37 in Tampa. Back to you. All right, Andy, thanks. Just ahead, see where Christmas meant free money for some people. And it's made a comeback in recent years. The Rubik's Cube. Remember that? We'll see what happens when a robot is put to the test. Now you see them. Thousands of Hondas on clearance. Soon, you won't. It all ends January 2nd in Pinellas, Pasco, and Hillsborough counties. See the lowest clearance payments and financing of the year. Like 08 Civics, just $199 a month. And select Hondas with 0.9% financing. Hurry in and see thousands of Hondas on clearance. Because soon, you won't. Thank Honda for the holidays. It's happy Honda days. At your Gulf Coast Honda dealers in Hillsborough, Pasco, and Pinellas counties. Honda, gotta get it. Free delivery, interest-free financing, Kane's Furniture year-end free sale. Now through Friday only, every living room, every bedroom, every item in every department is on sale. Plus, get free delivery or interest-free financing store-wide. No interest till 2012. The Kane's year-end free sale. You pick the style, we'll deliver it free. Kane's Furniture, style for all. Get a great deal on the Dodge you want during the final days of the event of a lifetime. Get 0% financing on all 08 Dodge vehicles like the full-size Ram pickup. Plus, make no payments till summer on all Dodge vehicles, including the all-new Grand Caravan. And the fuel-efficient 30 miles per gallon Dodge Avenger. Plus, you'll be covered by the best warranty in the business, Dodge's Lifetime Powertrain Warranty. Get to your Dodge dealer today because the event of a lifetime ends in seven days. Morning, Tom. We're not dating. We are like a married couple. Late night attitude. We annoy each other and there's no sex. <laughs> the morning show with Mike and Juliet asking the questions that matter. Is he a cheating? Uh, I need a lap dance. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, come Absolutely. on. With big stars. I did kiss him. Did you use Tom? And a whole lot of love. Oh, oh. <laughs> Naughty. We talk about sex a lot. Newsy. We have the breaking details. Mornings. Love you. See it weekday mornings at 10 on Fox 13. Hi, I'm Bill Murphy. Our Fox 13 One Tank Trip books make great holiday gifts and stocking stuffers. Order them by phone at 1-888-1-TANK. During this holiday season, Fox 13 will highlight some of the great charities in the Tampa Bay area. Through hard work by mostly volunteers, these organizations provide vital services for people in need. The Good Samaritan Mission. The Gulf Coast Oncology Foundation. The Tampa Bay Academy of Hope. And the Homeless Emergency Project all provide vital services for people in need. For contact information and ideas on how you can help, log on to MyFoxTampaBay.com and share the spirit of the season. Computer hackers are becoming downright cruel. Tonight on News Edge at 11, see how hackers are unlocking social networks like MySpace and Facebook and getting very personal information about members and using it in a way that they wouldn't like. And are parents turning a blind eye to their children's obesity? The surprising new study that could make parents change the way they feel about their kids' appearance. That's all tonight on News Edge at 11. While the housing market continues to soften, the same can't be said of the art market. The weak dollar, new wealth around the world, and new buyers are helping fuel record prices for art. Post-war and contemporary pieces are especially hot right now. They say works by Andy Warhol and Mark Rothko especially sought after. If at first you don't succeed, get a robot to do it. In Japan, there's a robot named Cubekin. It was made specifically to solve the Rubik's Cube. It identifies all the colors and then calculates the fastest way to arrange them. On average, it can solve the puzzle in less than three minutes. But that is long compared to some humans. The world record, just under 11 seconds for the cube. Wow, that's impressive. Mm -hmm. You know, every dollar counts when it comes to helping the needy, and there's a priest in Los Angeles who knows that. Every Christmas, Maurice Chase hands out cash to L.A.'s homeless community. In fact, his nickname is Father Dollar Bill. Yesterday, he gave away $15,000, mostly in ones, and to the first 10 people in wheelchairs, he gave $100 bills. Somebody cares. It's not the money so much often. It's the fact that 
somebody comes down and cares about them, loves them, smiles at them, uh, gives them a rosary. Reverend Chase has been doing it for 20 years. He works with LA's Skid Row Charity Fund. The day after Christmas traditionally marks the start of Kwanzaa. It's an African-American holiday that celebrates seven principles, including unity, self-determination, and faith. The word Kwanzaa is derived from the Swahili phrase meaning first fruits. It was first celebrated in 1966 as a way to promote pride and community among African-Americans. Each day of the seven-day celebration is marked with a lit candle. Julian Corvin wasn't sure any of her paintings would be chosen to grace Tampa General's hospital buildings, but she submitted them anyway. To her delight, two of her works were chosen, and it's what's right with Tampa Bay. In all my paintings, that's what I hope, is that people, it will have some calming or um, healing effect. On a clear blue November morning, Julian Corvin is making art. It's just sort of like innate in me. I've always liked to make things. I suppose it's like a sensitivity to the world around me. That sensitivity, since she was a child, that feeling is what she puts on canvas. Each one is different. You know, sometimes it's like an emotion that I'm dealing with or a situation that I'm dealing with and I feel like I can uh, process it on canvas. Julian's canvas at work is a computer. The successful artist works full-time at Tampa General Hospital as a project administrator for USF Infectious Diseases, an international medicine division. I get to do some creative things like work on the website and make publications for print. And so it looks nice. But now her you artwork and TGH are coming together with two of her pieces of wrap. art chosen from among the other artists to hang in a new building at the hospital. This. this one, Redstone, is already hanging near the lobby of the ER and trauma center. It's a thrill, she says. Underneath the, the painting is a Buddhist prayer and it's a um, very special prayer that's supposed to help people um, in many different ways. Julian says she painted over the prayer, hoping it would bring a healing, peaceful effect. So I think it's nice that it's in a hospital where people are sick. And... But now she says her art is becoming less for her. If you're thinking about, you know, wanting to help others when you're painting or doing anything really, then it makes it more meaningful of an activity rather than just a pretty picture on the wall. Although I do hope they're pretty too. <laughs> Kelly Ring, Fox 13 News. Wow, that is wow. beautiful. Look it, at the color. I know, beautiful blues, aren't yeah, they? Yeah. You can find out more about Julian's paintings. Just go online to our website. It's myfoxtampabay.com. You can learn more. And she has the thrill of having the hang up right there where she yeah. works too at, at TGH. That, I think it looks calming, which it would be does. a good thing in a hospital. Absolutely. Perfect for the hospital. Well, TMZ TV is next, followed by The Insider. Have a great evening, and we'll see you later on at 10. Take care.